Welcome everybody. What I'm going to show you here in this post is how to take a mixed number and rename it. This is going to be an important skill that you're going to need to use when you subtract mixed numbers at times. Uh, the example that I used in the subtracting mixed numbers post, I had to rename one of these mixed numbers. For example here, I have 2 and 2 thirds. 2 and 2 thirds would be renamed 1 and 5 thirds. Now normally we don't leave improper fractions as improper fractions, but in this instance we are. And again, you'll see understand why that is when we when we go to subtract mixed numbers. But two and two thirds is the same exact amount as one and five thirds. And let me show you how that works. If I have two and two thirds using my fraction pieces here, here's two whole bars, and here's two thirds. When we rename these mixed numbers, what we do is we borrow one bar. We borrow one whole. So we borrowed the one whole from the two, and we got one. But we can't just leave this empty. This still needs to equal two and two thirds. So what are we going to do? We're going to replace that one whole bar with three thirds, because three thirds is equal to one. And what we're left with here is one whole and five thirds. That's how you rename a mixed number. But you're not always going to have the ability to use fraction pieces here. So let's just say we needed to rename a fraction without using any fraction pieces. If I had three and one fourth and I wanted to rename three and one fourth, well, what would I do? I would borrow 1 from the 3, and I would call it 2, and then I would have to replace it with the 4 fourths. That one whole bar that I borrowed, I would replace it with 4 fourths. So 2 and 4 fourths and 3 are the same exact amount. Now, we need this to equal 3 and 1 fourth, not just 3. So what do we do? We add the extra 1 fourth onto it, and what are we left with? we're left with 2 and 5 fourths. Like I said, normally we're not going to leave an improper fraction like this with a mixed number. But we need to do that when we rename as we're subtracting mixed numbers. Follow that post of the subtracting mixed numbers to figure out why we would have to do that. But that's how it's done. You would take 3 and 1 fourth, and it would be renamed as 2 and 5 fourths. Let me show you one more example here. Here I have 4 and 3 fifths. If I was renaming 4 and 3 fifths, I'm going to borrow 1 from the 4 and call it 3 and 5 fifths. Now 3 and 5 fifths is equal to that one whole. If I had my fraction pieces, I could model that. I would have four whole bars to represent the four, and then I would have three fifths to show four and three fifths. Now, I would take one away, and what am I left with? I'm left with three full bars. But when I take that one away, I need to make sure I replace it with five-fifths, which is equal to that one full bar that I borrowed. And the question is, what would I be left with? Well, right here is three and five-fifths, which equals this four. But this, is all, only, only, this isn't the only thing that you have here. You have these three extra fifths left over. So what do you do? You have to add those three-fifths on to the 3 and 5 fifths. And what you're left with is 3 and 8 fifths. And that's how you would rename a mixed number.